Hey guys, this is Pam, your favorite paralegal and notary public from Brooks Notary and Litigation Support. So today I want to do a quick video about using uh, your SSN versus your EIN. Whenever you're conducting business, you should always be sure to have an EIN to identify your business entity. You don't want to use your social security number just for security purposes. An EIN is free and something you can get from the IRS directly, and um, you can usually get it the same day. And the reason why it's important to have that is because if you, let's just say as a notary, um, a lot of times the companies that you are working for, if you're a signing company, for instance, or I'm sorry, if you are doing a signing services uh, for a signing company, they will ask you for your uh, EIN or your social so that they can submit to you a 1099 form um, at the end of the year. So, um, you know, so for tax purposes, you know. And so the thing is, um, that information is it's crucial <laughs> um, for your business and in order to have uh, to protect your social security number you don't want to submit that because it's going to be passing through so many different hands you don't know how many people is going to get a hold of that paperwork who's going to see that paperwork and uh, and you don't know if it's going to be left out in the open um, and just treat it as some random document when of course to you and I it's very important because that is our personal identity so when it comes to that um, I strongly strongly urge you to to obtain an EIN number it's very easy very quick to do it takes about 15 20 minutes online form um, and use it to register your business it makes it so much easier and it also assists you with obtaining business credit maybe that's another video I don't have to spend a video on that. Um, <laughs> but when you have your EIN number, it helps you with um, obtaining business credit because then you can apply for what's called a DUNS number. And that number allows you to be able to um, submit for credit applications. So um, using your social security number, um, not saying that it won't work or you know anything like that it's just for your own personal privacy and security um, I strongly urge you to do that because you want to protect that number you don't want to fall victim to identity theft I mean it's bad enough we have you know web pirates taking information any chance they get sorry fly, any chance they get so you don't want to give them an additional opportunity um, by having access to that type of information and uh, and it looks more professional it's more appealing to your customers um, I place it on my invoices things like that so they understand that I am a legit certified business and of course you know a lot of times when we start out our businesses we are sole proprietors so we just operate just as we would because for tax purposes it's still going on the same tax return um, so a lot of times we don't you know bother with getting an EIN number so you know yes it's convenient yes it's easy to just continue using your social but um, just for security purposes and uh, legitimacy to the public and potential opportunities for business credit it's strongly urged that you obtain an EIN so feel free if you guys need help with that to contact me you can always send me your questions um, again Brooks Notary litigation support um, you can hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Brooks Notary. Don't forget to drop by BNLS store because we have some new stuff and I really think you'll like it. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And again, I'll catch you in the next video.